Almost one and a half million students are finally back in the classroom in Wuhan, the Chinese city where COVID-19 was first detected. All schools and kindergartens are now open as the city continues to emerge from the shadow of the coronavirus. No new local infections have been detected for more than three months. But as Lynette Lim reports, authorities aren't taking any chances. Wuhan has not reported any new local transmissions of the coronavirus since May 18, and life there has been slowly returning to normal since April, when a harsh two-and-a-half-month lockdown was lifted. The 11-million-strong city was the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in China, with Wuhan's death toll of nearly 3,800, accounting for more than 80% of China's coronavirus deaths. So the reopening of nearly 3,000 schools and kindergartens, as as well as 83 universities is an important milestone. Earlier in May, senior high school students had already been allowed to attend in-person classes. The reopening of all schools signals that the authorities are comfortable with the pandemic situation within China and that they feel they have some measure of control over the virus. Still, the city's authorities remain on guard. They say they have emergency plans to switch back to online teaching should risk levels change. Students have been advised to wear masks to and from school and to avoid public transportation if possible. Meanwhile, schools have been ordered to stock up on disease control equipment and to carry out drills to help prepare for new outbreaks. In addition, the authorities say schools must also restrict unnecessary mass gatherings and submit daily reports to health authorities. Lynette Lim, CNA, Shanghai.